How do you feel about a four day work week? I would probably hate Mondays less. Or more. Most likely we would replace 8 hour work days for 10 hour work days. I already have that but on 5. Should find a different job 50 hour week is insanity. I do 12, 14 hours, 5 days a week. You are literally killing yourself doing this. My stepdad does 12 hours 5 days, and then 8 one day. Yeah most electricians, plumbers, construction workers and trade people do insane hours, because they get a shit ton of overtime. I used to work at a warehouse, and I was getting like 65 hours a week at least working like 5 days a week, and I made insane amounts of money. You don't wanna be doing this kind of stuff, if you're like 35 or older because in general, the jobs that require this amount of clockage, also require strenuous labor. Standing, walking, physical labor and such, and I couldn't handle it after a little while. Life would be that much better. I would have somewhere around 50 extra days a year, to do all the yard work and home projects, that I don't want to spend all weekend doing. When you put it like that, 52 extra days per year, it becomes a slam dunk yes. Unfortunately I'm teacher, and it won't switch for me, unless the rest of society changes to it first. Only districts that do 4 days right now tend to be rural edit, the number of people who don't realize, that a majority of teachers work during the summer is astounding. Personally, I would gladly take a year-round school year, if it meant shorter weeks. Plenty of places across the world use that schedule, and summer break is mostly outdated. It should also be noted, that teachers do not get, paid for the summer. To clarify what I mean by this, my district along with those in my area only offer a 9-month pay schedule. First check is in September and the last check is in June. You get good at budgeting, because you have to if you want money for June, July, and August. Edit 2, this has started some lively conversation which I love. Definitely heard several interesting slash different perspectives on this topic. Our local community colleges health programs, nursing, etc, just swap to 4 day weeks. I coordinate their rotations at the hospital where I work. I sit and have very quiet Fridays now, and would give a whole lot, to be able to be off those days. I'm a nurse and currently work 3 twelves a week. Bedside nursing can suck, but having those 4 days off is really nice. I'm at the hospital 7 on 7 off. Wouldn't have it any other way. It's like getting 26 vacations a year. My company switched to 4, 10 hour days. We are diesel technicians and work 7, 530. Half of us work Monday through Thursday and the other half work Tuesday through Friday. We have did this for over 2 years and we all love it. It is so nice to have a 3 day weekend every week. Another thing about it that is nice is, if you doctor's appointment or something I can make it on a Monday, and don't have to miss any work. Plus I forgot to mention, having a 2 month this helps out a ton. More time for me to be with my wife and daughter. And if there is a lot, to do I can just come in on Monday and boom 10 hours of overtime. I work in public works for a city in Minnesota and we are trying to go from 5 8 to 4 10 during the summer. People are fighting it, because but that's 2 more hours a day I have to work. I won't be getting off at 330, but rather 430, if we start at 6 am, instead of 7, or 530, if we still start at 7. Yeah but you get that entire day off 24 full hours, to spend doing house slash yard work 24 full hours, to spend with your family 24 hours, to do nothing compared to that measly 2 hours a day. You'd easily catch up on the stuff you're missing out on by working 2 extra hours a day 24 hours off is more than 10 hours off. That adds up to weeks, 4 days off a month for 5 months would be 20 days off, just short of 3 weeks, off during the summer instead of 4 to 5 days adding up, that 2 hours a day. Then you think about the money you're saving by not driving, I drive 60 miles a day. I get 20 to the gallon. That's 3 gallons of gas per day 15 gallons a week. Say a gallon of gas is about $3, that's $45 a week. Trim that to 12 gallons a week, $36. That's $9 saved a week over 20 weeks, $180 saved over 5 months. That's an extra $18 an hour on top of your regular $25 hour. Then you're saving PTO slash 6 slash comp time by not using those days, to get an extended weekend. That's even more money saved, and more time off. It makes too much sense not to do it. Provided there's no drop in salary, fucking brilliant. Fuck it. I'll take the drop in salary. My biggest complaint, probably in general, is that there is no way, to take extra time off. I can only take 2.5 weeks a year and that is just stupid. 
life becomes slaving away constantly without leaving the same 10 mile radius. That goes on for decades. Leads to extreme depression. We only get one life and we make a sick joke out of it, because there is no other way to survive. And then it degrades your morale even more, until you are a helpless husk of a person who can't find a way out. Unpaid vacation time. Of course even if it's technically available it's very frowned upon, where I work, unless it's some kind of emergency. Also it is actually hard to motivate yourself to take day off, and slack when you can just slack at work, and get paid at the same time. I'd gladly take 1 over 12 less salary for an extra 4 weeks of vacation time. Where I live we have 5 weeks a year, I feel it's the little 40% of the year should be vacation at least. My employer gives us every other Friday off. We work 80 hours over 9 days, MF, MTH. It's really helpful to have those Fridays to schedule appointments, and I have less desire to burn PTO throughout the year, just to take a much needed Friday off. Through the end of October, I had only used 2.5 PTO hours for the year, mostly for doctor's visits. The only real downside is that on the Fridays that we do work, nobody wants to do anything. We did the same thing, but we rotated. Some had Mondays and some had Fridays, and we alternated those as well. So any given day we would only be missing 25% of the office. And everyone had different days, so we weren't collectively not wanting to be there on one day, lol. Rotating it is key. I think it'd need to be rotated across society to be useful. I used to do 12h slash third weeks and a lot of the benefit was being off when other people were still working, so you could book appointments during office hours and so on. If you get Friday off, and dentists take Friday off to then you're back to where you were with a 5 day week. Yeah and then my doctor only works on wed and thur. Sounds like that doctor has figured out that they are perfectly happy on a high wage with low hours. I know I'd do the same. Once you get to dollar sign 100k plus you have to start considering how much 37 hours a week means to you. I would gladly work for 10 hour days to have an extra day off 2 day weekends are too short. They are gone just as soon as you start to feel comfortable. Honestly, free time is the biggest luxury. I've worked for dash 5 dash 9s, 4, 10s, and 5, 8s. I was stoked to try out 3 day weekends for the first time, but honestly I like 2 day weekends the best. I still take vacation time for trips and family and time off, but switching from an 8 hour day to a 10 hour day is brutal, feels like the work days never end. I'm sure that's different profession to profession. As a software developer, I'd love to do 4, 10s. Right now if I'm in the zone and I need a little more time to finish what I'm doing, I either say fuck it and finish at the cost of my own time, which I don't get back, or say fuck it and stop early, thus wasting extra time later to get back into it. I'd have less spare time during my nights, but honestly I spend half of those thinking about work anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Think it makes sense. All the evidence suggests it works, and the welfare benefits would be enormous. Edit, this took off a little more than I expected. Thanks for the cake day well wishes. Whilst I'm here, here is a couple of news stories about the research and articles about 4 day weeks. New Zealand trial short term trial by Microsoft. How does it improve welfare benefits? I mean personal well being, not welfare as in social security. My main concern with a 4 day week is, that the lowest paid members of our society will just end up working more jobs to just get by. TBF, the lowest paid members of society are already doing that. I think it becomes a two separate issue problem that may not be solved with one fix like the four day work week. Working a five day work week just makes life seem so much more pointless. By the time I get the other things I need to do, grocery shopping, appointments, etc, done, it's Sunday night. A four day work week might give me time to play the piano I bought to combat depression. Edit, thanks for all the love guys. I really needed it. That is the worst thing about it all, Sunday is basically just waiting for Monday. Sunday barely even counts as a day off. You spend all day thinking slash preparing for the day tomorrow. The Sunday scare is. They talked about this in the 70s. Yay everyone said. My dad did it. He worked for 12 plus hour days and took off Friday. Everyone else was like, if I work the 12 hours the 4 days plus another 12, I can make even more money. Yay. I remember this happening with one of the Kellogg companies. They reduced the number of hours of every worker, in order to avoid massive layoffs. 
Then everyone was just so happy with the new structure, they kept it for decades, until larger shifts in the economy made workers rethink what they wanted, and they went back to a 40-hour work week in order to make more money. I think the workers were just reflective of what people wanted at the time more money in order to purchase more things slash leisure activities slash etc. But there's a pretty significant shift in what people want now, where I feel a lot of younger people care more about how much time they have. Possibly because they grew up seeing that the race to acquire wealth wasn't really paying out the benefits that were promised, happiness, life satisfaction, etc. Nah dude. We just want more time to game. These two things are related. Gaming today is relatively cheap and rewarding compared to 1980. You simply have more choices now, meaning less desire to work to make large purchases.